Hi, my name is Christopher Dave Mitchell. I'm a coach and today we're going to be talking about how to become truly successful in your life, discussing the concept of internal versus external success. I'm going to define what these are and which one I believe is much more important for you to have real success in your life. So let's get started. So most people watching my channel will know my story that in 2017, I left hospital with nothing, with no health, eight stone in weight, no money, no career, etc., etc. And I was determined to get my life back. I was determined to study success to study how to be successful and how to make some of my life again after being so down and out for so many years. So I took it very seriously and I studied successful people. I studied what they were doing. And what I found was this concept that I like to call internal versus external success. So let's go through these right away. External success are the things that everyone sees, they're the things on the outside, and they're the things, unfortunately, that most of society values. So they're things like money, fame, career status, social status, um, you know, number of subscribers, number of followers on Instagram, all these things externally that people think are the real success aren't actually the real success. And we'll discuss why in a second. So when you, um, when people think you're doing well in life, uh, they're often judging it by external success. You know, have you got that job in the West End, you know, with a bit more of that social status behind that there? That's an external uh, validation of success, as it were, or if you've got a hundred thousand YouTube subscribers, etc., 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 fancy cars, fancy houses, right? These are all the external things that most of society look at and think, oh, that person's doing well. But really, much more important to creating true, real, long lasting success is what I call internal success. Now, what does this mean? This could be said otherwise as like an internal skill set that a person has. But that's harder to see, right? It's not tangible. And if it's not tangible and it's not easy to read, people tend to not value it as much. But what I mean by internal success are things like the following. Overcoming fear. The ability as a person to see fear and overcome it. Being resilient as a person. Also, being able to be very courageous as a person. No matter what obstacles get thrown at you in life, you're able to get through that. See, that's a skill there if we just stick on that. How can you tell off the bat when you see someone that you meet or down the street that they have the ability and the internal skill of being very courageous? And they're going to be someone who, even if there's a tough time, they can get through. But these are the long lasting skills that lead to real success. Other ones could be uh, an ability to be creative, no matter what the situation, an ability to adapt to situations, an ability to be optimistic and make the most out of any situation, opportunistic, the ability to no matter what, turn anything into an opportunity for the better. We could go on and on with some of these, but these inner skills here, um, these are the ones that create real success in life for people because the external things are shallow and the external things can go like that. You can lose your cars, you can lose your subscribers a bit. Do you know what I mean? You can lose that West End show you're in. But what creates long lasting success is the ability of, like we say, overcoming fear, being courageous, being resilient, being creative, being a leader. How about leadership skills within a person? Being optimistic, being able to think outside the box, being able to adapt to any situation, 
being courageous in the face of whatever happens in their life. Those people who've bought, built up, sorry, those skills, they're the people in life who are truly successful. Which is why when you see these stories of like entrepreneurs, like someone like Peter Jones, he's a British entrepreneur who was um, on Dragon's Den. At one point in his late 20s, I think, he lost all his money. He lost millions and millions, but then he was able to get it back within a year. Why is that? Because someone like him, people see, oh, he's worth however many million but I see the internal skills he's got and that's why he's able to get it back really quickly. Whereas people like, um, you know, Michael Jackson in his time, Mike Tyson in his time, all these people, they may have had it all looking good on the external success, but of course they all lose it. Why? Because they've got none of these internal skills to be able to keep it going, to be able to sustain it. They haven't really got their success in a very skill-based way from internally. You see, when you just focus on the external, we have no idea how many skills you got internally and therefore, like Michael Jackson or Mike Tyson or whatever, you could lose it. But when you have these internal skills that you build up, then uh, even if you lost it, you could still get it back. And... It's almost like people have got it the wrong way around, where people will go for the external goals, but really you're putting the cart before the horse, that's the phrase, right? Where if you build up the internal skills and the internal success with you as a person, it will radiate externally anyway. The byproduct will be externally. So, I just think this is such an interesting concept and one that I wasn't taught really. Um, but I think it's very important. And I think this is why I believe as well that everyone should start their own business, should be a creator, should be a leader. Not because necessarily that's the end goal, but it you have to learn these internal skills in order to be successful in these areas because you cannot be a successful entrepreneur. You can bet your bottom dollar that those people are able to adapt really quickly. They're able to face huge fear and overcome it. They're able to think outside the box. They're able to be resilient no matter what. They're able to be courageous. They're able to be strong when they need to. They're able to be an amazing communicator when they need to. Like they would not get to that situation unless they had these internal skills. So what business does is when you go out on your own, you are forced to learn all these skills um, because you're entering the business world. It's a, it's a crazy world out there. So you're forced to, to cultivate these skills. So I do think in a way that starting your own project, starting your own a one man business, starting your old small your own small business, being a bit of an entrepreneur, being a leader in some way, you will find that to be truly successful in these areas and truly successful in your life, it's not the external things, but it's these internal things that keep you going. And uh just say this is why when I did I did online coach program, this is a coaching program where I was coaching other coaches on how to get clients, how to build their coaching practice and become a successful coach. And um, the main thing stopping them was not anything externally. It was them. It, the main thing stopping them being successful was were they willing to really have the internal motivation Internal motivation, that's one we didn't mention. It's a huge one. Were they able to have the, to be internally motivated and to be able to self-motivate? That is a huge one that again is an internal success, an internal skill. You know, were they able to have amazing time management? Were they able to overcome the fear of putting out that YouTube channel and that video and what they really wanted to say? 
And the fact is that most people, unfortunately, will never get through that. But what separates the truly successful people and not, I believe, are these internal skills. So I wanted most of the online coach program was actually teaching people to change on the inside, because if I could change people on the inside through my online coach program, I knew they would get external results. So I was harsh on them at times, and at times I nearly felt bad about it, but I knew that if I could change their mindset and change them on the inside, the external results they wanted of being a successful coach with clients would work, and it did. You know, a lot of them are doing very, very well right now. They've already made their money back, et cetera, et cetera, and they're doing really well. So I'm really pleased about that. Um, so yeah, there's some thoughts there. I hope it's helped on what I think makes truly successful people. And um, yeah, so have a think now uh, as a thought. Have a think about just how much you've been aware of this. And notice, be self-aware now. Have you been thinking about, I need to build more subscribers. I need to get more Instagram followers. I need to make more money. Have you been thinking about the externals as your goal instead of the internals? Or have you been working on, I need, I need to work on my self-confidence. I need to work on the ability to self-motivate. I need to work on my ability to face fears and overcome them no matter what. I need the, the ability to have um, an optimistic mindset to have confidence in my ability, to be courageous, even when I'm not sure my idea will work. These ones are the ones you want to focus on. These ones are the ones that will make you truly successful. So I hope that's helped. Uh, check out my website if you want any more. Stick with me for more. There's going to be more to come on this. Um, I'm really excited to be talking about all these things that I learned from my own coaching practice, coaching other coaches, and then sharing them with you. Um, but yeah, do check out my website, ChristopherDavidMitchell.com. I've got my online coach program on there. If you want to learn some of these internal skills and have me with you to really everything that I know to develop these, uh, I'd love to go through that with you. Otherwise, take care. I hope it helped and uh, till next time, speak soon.